Hi guys, welcome back to Input Plus. Today we're taking a look at the uh, ASUS or ASUS Prime B450M-A motherboard. Um, this is the board that I will be using for my Ryzen build. Um, came at a pretty good price, um, but the primary, one of the primary reasons I bought the board was because I did not have a choice. Uh, there seems to be a shortage of um, a Ryzen motherboard socket AM4s. Um, at least in my case, the ones that I wanted that was at a pretty good price uh, were all out of stock. So there seems to be a little uh, shortage going on, but the build has to continue. So I had to get one. Um, again, it's the ASUS or ASUS Prime B450M-A motherboard. Uh, Obviously, it's a B450 chipset, which is kind of mid-level. Um, the X470s and X570s are quite expensive. So let's take a quick look at the board. Um, nice looking box. Some pictures in the back no one ever looks at. Okay. Um, fairly simple board. Not too many accessories. I've obviously opened this prior. Uh, let's see. The board itself. I think the customary SATA cables. And underneath the box, you got your IO plate. You need that. Got the manual. They're getting thinner every year or uh, CD, no one ever uses. And the screws for your M2 um, sockets. So that's very important. Try not to lose that because the size is on the small side. So it's a micro ATX board. Not a lot of features, but enough for my use. Um, I was primarily going for at least a board with M.2 and they all come with M.2s nowadays. Anyway, um, so as you can tell, I already stuck the uh, Ryzen 5 1600 that I'll be using. Um, it's a used chip, so I don't even have the cooler that came with the chip originally. Um, I'm using my own um, Corsair HATI V2 uh, all-in-one cooler. So you'll see that in the build. Uh, I've got one um, DDR4 module in here now because I did an open bench test on the board just to see if everything works and and they, they all work. <laughs> so um, let's see, let's go through the features. Um, DDR4 slots, I showed you. There are four of them. Uh, they can support out of the box uh, to 2133 megahertz up to 3200 megahertz. Okay. Uh, let's see. Then you have your your 24 pin ATX po um, plug. There are three fan headers, a CPU, fan and two system fan header. Socket AM4, then your eight pin um, CPU ATX power, CMOS battery. Then you have an um, PCIe Express, PCI Express X16 slot. Um, you cannot SLI here, there's only one. Then you have two PCIe 2.0 X1 slots. Um, the PCIe X16, by the way, is uh, PCIe 3.0, but also can run 2.0 for backward uh, compatibility. Uh, let's take a look at... There are 6 SATA 6 gigabits per second ports. 4 on this side and 2 on this side. Um, don't forget, this is your M2 
there's the M2 slot and it can um, it's compatible with PCIe 3.0 and uh, SATA um, storage modes then we have your 3.0 connection for your case uh, front panels um, 3.0 USB case uh, connection then you have your USB 2.0 uh, front panel connections high def audio I'm not sure what I'm pointing at here <laughs> there's high def audio in here <laughs> for sure um, let's see I think that's it as far as the internal connectors are concerned at least the ones that I will be using okay moving on to the outside ports the back ports then you have your uh, PS2 connections your mouse and your keyboard you have a VGA connection DVI HDMI there are four USB 3.1 first gen ports and there are two USB 3.1 second gen ports you have your LAN connection LAN port your RJ45 then your audio connections uh, this is a channel high def so um, that's pretty much it it's a no frills board um, it's not like it's a bad board but I chose it because um, primarily because of the shortage I needed a board but also I was also um, uh, planning ahead because um, the 1600 will not be my last Ryzen CPU on this board for sure um, I got this for a really good price so I can easily replace it and, and upgrade fairly quickly so um, yeah this can handle um, this board can handle I'm pretty sure with BIOS updates uh, up to the latest uh, Ryzen 3 third gen um, CPUs um, I it, this can probably handle the higher um, the higher end uh, 8 core uh, CPUs but I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't try that I would get a higher end board uh, with better VRMs and, and whatnot. So, and um, uh, memory upgradability is pretty good. I think this can go up to 128 gigabytes. So, right now, uh, when I run the build, it'll be 16 gigs. So, plenty for me, uh, at least for my purposes at the moment. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, keep an eye out for my uh, Ryzen build video. And this guy would be playing the lead role along with the CPU. Okay, that's it for now, guys. Hope you liked the video. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, be doing more uh, tech videos, obviously. And um, if you like the video, click on like, uh, leave your comments, uh, and wait for uh, um, watch out for my um, Ryzen build video. Okay. Take care. Peace.